क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम इकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट अ शॉर्ट इंट्रोडक्शन टू इंटरफियरेंस बेसिकली वी हैव टू लर्न अबाउट वॉट इज कंस्ट्रक्टिव इंटरफियरेंस एंड वॉट इज डिस्ट्रक्टिव इंटरफियरेंस सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट इज कंस्ट्रक्टिव इंटरफियरेंस एंड वॉट इज डिस्ट्रक्टिव इंटरफियरेंस वेन टू वेव्स of light and by light i mean by electromagnetic waves and this electromagnetic waves will have two features in them first of all it is the it is the wavelength and the second thing which they will have is nothing but the amplitude so the wave is something like it is sinusoidal so the wave moments is actually going to be sinusoidal so the wave is going to have a amplitude and it is also going to travel in a particular direction so when two such waves of light are going to interfere with each other in phase then what we have is nothing but a constructive interference and this will lead to a brightness in such a case there is going to be an addition of the individual amplitudes and in such a case it will so happen that the resultant phase difference is going to be an integral multiple of the wavelength so the part difference is going to be delta is equal to n lambda the part difference delta is going to be an integral multiple of lambda for constructive interference wherein delta is equal to n lambda wherein n is equal to 0 1 2 etc similarly it is not always that two waves are going to interfere in phase it may also happen that the two light waves will actually interfere out of phase and if they are interfering out of phase then in this case the net amplitude is going to be the difference between the individual amplitudes and this will lead to darkness or destructive interference the path difference in the case of destructive interference or for darkness is going to be an odd integral multiple of lambda by 2 which is represented by the expression delta is equal to 2n plus or minus 1 bracket multiplied by lambda by 2 so in such a way we know that whenever there is constructive interference then the part difference is going to be an integral multiple of the wavelength that is delta is equal to n lambda and whenever there is going to be a destructive interference the two waves are out of phase then in that case the part difference delta is going to be an odd integral multiple of lambda by 2 represented by delta is equal to bracket 2n plus or minus 1 bracket complete multiplied by lambda by 2 so since you thanks students for watching this particular video stay tuned to ekeda and do subscribe to our channel ekeda thanks a lot